Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, Oxygen Not Included. Uh, the story of the day, at, I, I would say, slow progress, safe progress. Our colony, like, if you just zoom out a little bit, like, well, this is as far as I can zoom out, actually. It looks so much better than our, uh, than our previous colony. Like, it's actually so ridiculously good-looking as compared to the colony that preceded it, that I'm almost stunned, to be honest with you. That being said, that doesn't mean we are devoid of problems. You know what, let's tile this up, because I worry that sooner rather than later, this sandstone is gonna crumble, and all these aliens that spawn up here are gonna mess with us, right? Obviously, on today's episode, we got a couple of things on the go, a little bit left over from yesterday's episode. We need to, um... Oh, never mind the recorder in the background. Um, we need to... Uh, get some slime into the bio distiller to make algae, and then I will feel way more confident about making a bunch more uh, algae terrariums, which are emitting oxygen at basically the same rate that they're getting algae. Because um, I'm just worried, I mean right now, obviously, you know, we got 1300 kilograms of algae, that's great, but I don't want to commit too hard um, to, uh, to going this full-on algae route until I know that we're, uh, we're relatively safe in that department, you know? This thing's ho oh, this thing's not holding anything except algae. Okay, that's fair. That means we should actually... I was gonna say, I was. why don't we have dirt everywhere? The answer is we kind of do have dirt everywhere. So build a um, storage compactor to hold... Oh, build a storage compactor to hold a bunch of this... Uh, dirt over here. And again, we're not researching We're not researching right now because one of the trade-offs of not having a, a large number of uh, duplicates right now is that we are in a situation where we want to, um, I guess, maximize the uh, usefulness of every single one of our duplicates. So rather than focusing on uh, research right now, we're gonna focus on getting this bathroom built, which is gonna require all four of our units to basically dig, build, etc, etc, etc. The good thing about slow expansion is that we really haven't had to worry about power generation at all. We're only powering a couple of research benches, um, then eventually our bio distiller. I think the ma massage tables do not take power, mysteriously enough. The other benefit to building these tiles like this by the way, I suppose the sandstone could still just, like, break all the way down to here, but... The other benefit about building our tiles out like this, um, is that we're not going to be pushing oxygen into this environment where it's unnecessary. Instead, the oxygen will stay here. Or maybe, who knows, the carbon dioxide will stay here and we'll all die. But for now, this seems, uh, sensible to me, and, like, geez, the colony's almost looking like it makes any sense whatsoever. Um, let's just do that. My life will feel better if we do that. So we still want to get this uh, whole bathroom situation sorted out here. Austin is just freaking booking it, buddy. My hope is that um, we can get this bathroom done this episode. It is, it's a multi-stage process, because after we build the bathroom, um, the lavatory, sorry, it's going to require, oh jeez, that's not what I meant. It's going to require water coming in, water going out, and then... Um, That's requiring piping, like, all through this situation. So that's water coming out, water going in. Yeah, this is this is still sensible right here. So build it, like, here. We might have to use a liquid pipe bridge to make this work, but, I mean, that's what they're there for, right? Probably. I mean, I'm not gonna act like I know what's going on, necessarily. Uh, our day's about half done here. I'm slightly concerned about what the future holds for us. Um, this should be dug. Well, it will be dug for the building, I guess. Um, insufficient resources. Yeah, the bio distiller's not running because we haven't hit slime yet, but that that is queued. This is gonna be built. It doesn't need a... It doesn't need electricity, but it needs liquid intake and liquid output. Do we need to pump liquid in order to have liquid input? We never really had this working last time. We kind of had it looking like it was working, but it, I would say it was not working. Um, just let me look at gas for a second here. It, it looks relatively okay. Um, and we've got this algae terrarium here, which is going to make oxygen. 
and then push all the carbon dioxide down here so you choke and die while using the bathroom. Um, I recognize that that's stupid, but I am recognize also that I'm not going to change it. So we want, this is our output. So we want our output to basically just go like that. That should work fine. Let's get that built before we worry about anything else for now. And also we want to get some slime to make sure our slime bio distiller is actually working as well. So the the outflow of water is extremely simple. At least that's the idea. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to build a tile down there. Don't let me stop you. And you know what? I just realized we basically have a built-in room up here that we can use for something else. Maybe a second bedroom or something like that. Uh, and now that we've now that we've mined this out a little bit, actually, or, sorry, dug this out, we should place more planters down here. I realized the more um, the more orders we issue, the longer it'll take for each one of them to be done. So we should really prioritize what's most important for us. And this should not necessarily be free flowing. So the last thing we need in order to make this bathroom function at this point, this lavatory, I should say, is we need um, water in. So if we look at uh, plumbing, we should be able to make a liquid pipe that goes like, um, what, would, what about a liquid pipe bridge? So the idea is that this would go over an existing pipe. So we can't really do it like that, unfortunately. We have to go down. So we're going to have to tile this up. That's fine. So it's going to go like, hmm, and then, hmm, up th through this, and then, I mean, instead of digging, we could just have a go like, ah, we're going we're gonna to do it like this. I don't know necessarily if this is going to work too well, but, uh, We'll see. Again, I, I never really got the bathroom working properly to begin with. Um, so we'll see how things go for us in the future here. Um, we're at 12,000 calories. I might have whiffed on that today. Let's see how we're doing. No, we actually made calories today. And, um, or wait, wait, we should be looking at yesterday. Yeah, we made, a, we, we stayed at equilibrium for calories and we spent a little bit of oxygen, but not too much. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, Please empty that bathroom as soon as possible. People are going to be mad stressed. You might as well dig that out for now. We can retile it. But we need, like, the piping to be set up here in the future. So we might as well issue the dig order, which will probably be a little faster. So I'm hoping you delivered the conduits, or the, the ingredients for the conduits there. Dude, people are going to piss themselves. You got to go a little faster than this. Oh, uh, these are these are ready to go. Okay, yeah, make this, make this, make this, make this, make this. Okay, beautiful. And these are almost ready to harvest to begin with, which is aw awesome for us. I was gonna say it's oxygen for us, but yo, yo, empty the bathroom. You're making poop on the ground. Sweep this up, dude. That's just further proof this lavatory needs to get freaking built. Unreachable. Un oh, no kidding. So I won't do that until we cancel this. That's fine. I understand. Look, there's contaminated air now, thanks to you. All right, this thing should store all. Okay, so we've got fewer priorities on the go right now. We're almost into slime. Gold amalgam. Um... Fewer priorities on the go right now. Keep that algae going. Doing fine on calories. You know what? Make a few more, Robert. See if I care. So we're mining in. Making these conduits. Making our way downtown. Walking fast stations past. And I'm fucking homebound. Great job. Tile the floor. Every bathroom's gotta have a tiled floor. That's just... That's just the keys to the kingdom right there. In what world can you not reach? Oh, you know why? I know exactly why you can't reach this. It's not two tiles wide. Understandable. 
If we can actually get this bathroom functioning, I think all of my problems as I know it cease to exist. I don't really want to uh, dismantle the outhouse before I know uh, whether or not my plan is actually going to work here. Because remember, we might need to build a water pump uh, as well. Like, I'm not going to feel betrayed if we have to build a water pump because... I mean, I, I don't really understand how plumbing works for the most part. Oh, we got we got bio distiller producing is is it producing contaminated air? Certainly looks like it. It's no, it's emitting contaminated water. But that should be coming out of here. Yeah, it is. Okay. But you know what? I think just to keep things on the safe side, we should probably put down like a freaking air deodorizer. Maybe another one there as well, because it's looking a little grimy there. And then, okay, so what do you do now? Power. Hopefully we didn't fuck up our, um, not power, sorry, plumbing. Hopefully we didn't fuck up our um, gaseous equilibrium too much here. It seems like we're, we're letting CO2 into areas that I would not like to let CO2 into. Um, as useless as this might seem... Just build like a manual airlock right there to hopefully stop that from becoming a serious issue. It's producing so much contaminated air. Holy crap. Okay. This needs to be deconstructed and replaced with a manual airlock. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Good God, that was like... <laughs> the the rate at which it created a hellish environment for us was a surprise. Let's let's leave it at that. So this thing says empty pipe. But does that mean it's non-functional? Because they are still taking shits down there. So I'm assuming that that's, that means it's relatively non-functional. So um, first off, four mushloves. Reports um, for yesterday. Made oxygen, made a bunch of kilocalories. Stress is on the low side. It's great news. Dan and Ruka are a little stressed out. Hopefully they don't have interrupted sleep. They've almost made it through the night. They made it through the night. Dope. Okay, yeah, you know what? You do issue a sweep order here because there's a lot of garbage on the ground that they should uh, take care of. Hopefully these air deodorizers, you know, more or less do their jobs. This room's gonna be a fucking cesspool. Dude, you need to build that manual airlock as soon as possible. I'm going to go uh, build a liquid pump. And the idea is that this should allow our bathroom to function. And then maybe we can start on research. But we do, I mean, we've got issues to sort out here. Got a lot of contaminated air being produced. It's mostly being handled in here, actually. Is it? It's the slime out here that's producing contaminated air as well. So you know what? Um, produce another manual airlock. Leave it right there. We don't want this contaminated air like getting into the rest of the base. And it's it's slowly encroaching. So if you could like sort that out like as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean you're doing a great job. Um, okay, prioritize. What is the higher priority? One is lowest, nine is highest. This is a nine. It's a nine. It's a nine. We want these airlocks, in particular this one, produced as soon as possible. Um, so that we can stop the spread of contaminated oxygen. Except when we need to do some mining. And I mean, people are going to hate being in these mines, dude. We're going to need to make, like, freaking scuba suits or something. I recognize the perceived ignorance of making a manual airlock. When there's already, like, you know, gas transfer that just happens above and below the ladder. I mean, it's not like the gas is, uh, is subject to the same rules and regulations as we are. Okay, you know what? Go down to speed one, because we got issues. Build another air deodorizer. It takes sand, so 
Like, it, that doesn't really bother me too much. How are we doing on algae? We got 1,100 kilograms and 150 kilograms of slime. That's not that bad. We just want to ensure that our whole base doesn't get overrun with contaminated oxygen. So this liquid pump now needs power. Now that it has power, I think that we'll be able to, uh, or once it gets power, I think we should actually be able to go to the bathroom, which is great news. Oh, we have a new duplicate available. I n We're gonna get another one soon, but not today. I know I've, I've said that many times, but like the colony is going really well. And I think it's going really well as a result of the fact that um, we're... Uh, well, it's going pretty well. And I think it's going pretty well as a result of the fact that we have not um, stupidly expanded way, way too fast. So who's hurting today? Dan's Dan's in high stress. Why do you have an empty pipe? Oh, because we're still waiting for the gas to get there. Give it a sec, give it a sec. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Fill up the tank. Fill up the tank. Oh! He's done it. You, I want to see someone take a shit in this lavatory. Dude, we have a functioning bathroom. Eventually, this septic tank is going to fill up. But you know what? Hasn't happened yet, dude. Why would you poop here? Austin. Maybe because it's on breathing. Oh, Daniel. We have a toilet. Well, we have a Hulk. Um, I mean, we want a shower. It's just gonna be a little awkward. Can we? We could probably build the piping upwards. What if we do it like this? Like build this there, liquid pipe. Surely that won't be confusing in the future. Um, so now the shower will help us shower off disease as well. Again, you always want to look at your... Well, you want to check out your reports for cycle 15. Whoa, we used... Oh, no. <laughs> that's very scary. We used 1,900 grams of oxygen yesterday. That's not that bad. All right, you know what? Start producing six mush bars a day. Because we're going to get ready for another, uh, another colonist to join us. Contaminated air. Not going to lie to you. Causing some problems. But we have some other things, as we go back to speed one here, we have some other things that we should be uh, slightly concerned about. Or at least, like, put on our to-do list as something that's important for us. We are going to need water at some point in the future. How's our... Oxygen is looking honestly pretty fine right now. Um, I sort of feel like we want another airlock, like, right here. Just to keep our colony <laughs> protected. So, you know what? They're pretty cheap, right? How much, how much is an airlock? 200 copper, 200 gold amalgam. So it's like almost all of our gold amalgam. But copper we have tons of. Just, you know what? Fucking go for it, dude. Just to... Um, just to make sure we're not... like When we mine, contaminated air is going to flood out. We don't want it to be able to flood into the rest of our base. So we have like a little bit of a double chambered system. Uh, here, that's going to be good for us. But we want oxygen down here. Because people are going to have to come down here to do stuff. So um, the shower's built. It is unbreathable. So it wouldn't be the worst idea to build like another algae terrarium. Or the, alternatively, actually, what we could do is um, like tile up. Well, the air should already be like coming up this way, right? That, was there contaminated water here? No. I mean, the base is, is pretty breathable right now. Alright, and this, like, it's barely breathable. So this is not going to give us, like, a ton of... And to it, you know, I would like how I was insulted. I was like, this is barely breathable. What's the point? It's actually, like, way better than the rest of our base. But sure. Um, maybe we'll start to put another couple of beds in here. We'll move our beds, like, further apart. Because we're getting ready for another uh, duplicate to show up. So go, like, furniture. You know, put a cot in here. And then a cot, like, slightly further away. Dude, this is cool. We actually have a much, much better colony here. Um, so, Ruka, you can go on the massage table. Who else is in trouble here? Dan. 
go ahead, spend some time on the massage table. I also should start more research now, so we should finish some basic research, like um, we haven't done power regulation yet, which allows us to make big batteries. Uh, we haven't done interior decoration yet. Let's do interior decoration first. We are, again, water's an issue. So another thing that we'd like to do is make an area that can take contaminated water and make it pure. So we would put like a pump in here. And it's going to take in contaminated water and put out uncontaminated water. So the ideal place for it, yeah, dude, this is it. It pumps out into here. And it takes from here. So we build a pump here, pipe it. And then just have the water purifier basically like put it out right here. So can we just build... Do we need a foundation for this? I guess is what I'm trying to ask. Because let's... If so, let's build um, like this. Hear me out. Ah, Dan is getting a massage so he's not generating power. That's, that's not great for business. That's in plumbing? No, that's in uh, refinement. That's right. Must be built on the ground. Oh, no kidding. All right, I mean, it is important that we get the stress taken care of. I would like them to continue to use the um, the bathroom if possible. I mean, the pipes are not empty. There's still water in the pipes. And, you know, Austin's running now. I really respect and appreciate that. Thank you. We need to build these tiles. What's the what's the principle behind that? Dude, we, we hit, like, oxygen equilibrium down here. That's so good. Um... We are building the tiles down here. We're going to build water filtration, not Walter filtration, on top. And then we're going to have the water pump out here. So we should probably, I guess, get started with like a liquid vent right here. Um, might as well put it someplace reachable. And Okay, or not. And then we're just going to have this contaminated water pump into that. And hopefully this will help us maintain like a certain equilibrium here. And not flood our entire base, ideally. Stress is coming down, that's good. Next duplicate is in a long time. So we have we have a while before we have to worry about our next uh our next duplicate. These are harvestable. Okay. So we're now entering uh We're now entering a problem. Two problems. One problem is that we have a lot of jobs and we are taking a long time to do them. Uh that's because we have low duplicates. Another problem is that we have low power, and that's a combination of a few things. One of which is that we have scaled our base a little bit. The other one is that um, we're still using this manual generation to produce power, which is uh, obviously a little bit on the slower side for us. So we produced 73 kilograms of oxygen. We produced 1,700 calories. Actually, we, we always need to make at least four per day, so don't sweat that. Um, so one solution could be make more batteries. I don't think that's the proper solution. Uh, another solution could be research uh, more power regulation stuff, which is something that we're going to need to do without a doubt. But to be real with you, like I'm very, very pleased with how this colony looks right now. This thing is almost full. What it tells me when I've got so many full uh, resources, or so many full containers, is that we really, like, need to start doing something with our junk. Ha ha ha. Get it? Um, we might want to refactor our jobs menu again as well. Like, that's that strikes me as extremely valid. Um, Ruka is not exclusively researching right now. Is he up here? No, Dan's up there on the massage table. I mean, he's still stressed out, so I'll, I'll, I'll cut him some slack there. Robert's getting water, probably to make a uh, mush loaf. How in the world can you not um, reach this? I don't understand. Oh, you know what? <laughs> every time, dude. Every time. And then just to be safe, you should, like... I mean, you can't exclusively tile this up. What is this? Sandstone. Eventually, sandstone degrades. So you should actually just tile this up. Dig this, and then you can tile across here. I'm very pleased with the way this has gone uh, recently. Septic tank, uh, I mean, it's filling. There's probably way more space than, uh, but I'm still finding myself slightly concerned. I don't know how I've done it, but apparently this is the most breathable area in the entire ship right now. So 
I guess, you know, the area that I wanted to quarantine because it seemed like it was toxic is actually uh, a wonderful place. Really, we should be putting our beds, like, on the second floor of this area. Um, Ruka up here? No, Dan's up there still. It's all right. Ruka's doing research, as is necessary. What's up, um... Just trying to follow what everybody's doing right now. Robert's still making... Okay. He's still making mush loaf. Ruka's delivering water to the algae terrariums. Which is probably something I'd never considered before. Is that having to constantly deliver water to these algae terrariums is going to be labor intensive. So, having another duplicate is going to be really nice for that. That is our timer, but I'm going to go a little longer. Because this might be the last episode that I, uh, that I do today. I really want... The digging to commence, and I want the tile to be done. Of course, we need to keep making uh, oxygen. So, like, I don't want to stop them from doing their job of delivering water to these algae terrariums. Because, you know, without that, obviously, like, life's going to be hard. You can clear this, by the way. Our biodistiller doesn't have enough slime. Which is a problem, because we're actually running very low on algae. So, uh... I mean, step one is definitely just digging up all of this algae right here. It's non-urgent, but important nonetheless. And then steps two and beyond are uh, going back in here for more slime. I mean, we should, I really feel like readily available uh, algae is, uh, is quite important. I mean, that's, that's step one. Okay, there you go. Keep building this, please. Get this sand the hell out of here. Now, the other thing we've been working on is this water purifier. So, this is step one. What, it, what else does it produce, actually? I don't know. Maybe heat? But, basically, we want it to very easily uh, output water, like so. Now, to input, it is going to require a pump. In here, so we're gonna dig probably across like that, which you know there is slime in there, so we want to be careful when we issue those orders. But we'll deal with it for now. It's got five loaves coming in. We made oxygen. We made a lot of kilocalories today, which is nice. And our next duplicate's coming in pretty soon, so that's probably where we'll finish this episode is when we get that next duplicate built. So let's take this uh, this time tonight to prioritize a little bit. Let's say like priority nine. We want this um, to be done. Wait, th th that's already done. Okay, never mind. Priority nine. Um, I want this to be done before the end of this episode. I want this to be started. And and by started, I mean completely done. But we do still need to make mush loaf. And how close are we to our research? We went for interior decor. I don't know. Maybe one day that'll make sense. We can start putting lamps and... You know, canvases and stuff. We are having stress, although admittedly, it's not really... It doesn't seem that bad, the stress that we've had so far. And, you know, episode four of this colony is so much better than, like, episode six of our last colony. Like, things are not... They don't feel like they're going off the rails, for one. We've got concerns, you know. Uh, power is... Uh, Something that I would consider to be a, a pretty serious problem. Or a pretty oppressing concern, let's put it that way. We haven't... Uh, our, our units are a little bit stressed. But we are much closer to having like an equilibrium than we've had uh, in the past, I think. We've got already... I don't want to say infinite oxygen production. But we're producing oxygen, which is very nice. We have a shower. We have a, uh, a flushable bathroom. I also like... Just very, very minor stuff that I'd like to get sorted here, like... Please finish the tiling... there. Because I'd like, um... I mean, as soon as you start to issue macro orders, you're or micro orders, you're already fucked. You should let your colonists, like, live their own lives. But we do need this tile so that the whole place doesn't collapse on us at any given moment. Um, and I would like also to... complete these wires. And this is going to say unreachable, but I don't buy it. Base, ladder, ladder. We got a base, ladder, and roll. Now, did you actually build a pipe there? Or is that saying you're going to build it? I think you've built it. The final thing we need is some actual liquid intake here. 
And to get that liquid intake uh, functioning, you're going to need... Yeah, get that stuff out of here, please. To get that liquid intake functioning... Oh, we finished our research. Okay. Um, you're going to need a pump. So let's just, I should really write that on my to-do list for tomorrow. Oh, and here's our duplicate. Okay, so we are going to choose someone this time. We've got uh, a good cook who's also good at tinkering, but he can't dig. We've got a good learner who's also good at medicine. And then we have a good medicine tinkerer and learner who can not dig. Uncultured. The core expectation. I mean... Not digging is kind of a problem for us right now. Because I'd really like to have more units that can speed things up here. So I think I'm going to take Hideki. And um, you know what, Hideki? You're going to be... What it was? Scaredy Cat. Afraid of combat. That doesn't seem that bad yet. Uh, you can be... Uh, let's go Tomo. You know, we got a Ruka, we got a Tomo. Haven't even put myself into the game yet. To be honest, nobody's been worthy. Alright, so Tomo... This is your bed over here. Assuming that it's breathable, and it is relatively so. I'm gonna put an algae terrarium over here for now. And actually, the let the very last thing. Dude, that's how you know this game is good. Gotta get that algae terrarium built. We should really refactor jobs tomorrow, but um, let's get this algae terrarium done first, and hopefully start producing air so Tomo doesn't suffocate in his sleep. And now we got a five duplicate colony. That's about a hundred times better off. What do you mean unreachable? It's about a hundred times better off than our previous colony was. Okay, you know what, you motherfuckers? Build a liquid vent. Build it here. See if I give two shits, okay? So, go prioritize. I don't give things eights. You only get nines, and the nine means get it done right now or I'm gonna be displeased don't accidentally mix the clean water supply with the with the dirty water supply though life will be hell okay get this built again this is only step one I recognize we still gotta get the dirty water over here and then we gotta continually supply dirty water as necessary to keep us in the clear might as well make five of these just keep yourself going strong for now. That's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.